Independence Day. It is taught that freed slaves and abolitionists set the enslaved free. But what about all the enslaved that fought to overcome their captivity? There is so little recorded to explain this, making it almost look like they lived in bliss. This could not be further from the truth. If they did not obey, they'd be hanging from a noose. But their pride, strength and unity was too strong to allow others to keep them enslaved for too long. Throughout the entire period of this legal trade, enslaved Africans fought for their freedom till the grave. Their most triumphant battle was in Haiti, where after a 13 year war, they became free. Dutty Bookman started the rebellion after a spiritual ritual that galvanized their strength and focused their will. Then Jean-Francois, Bissou and others carried it on until Toussaint Overture and Jean-Jacques de Salis ensured they won. On January the 1st, 1804, Haiti declared itself an independent nation. Did this have any bearing on Britain's 1807 law of abolition? Even though Haiti had become free, many more were still bound in slavery. Unable to decide or plan for themselves by being tormented in this living hell. Of being subjected to the will and desires of others who beat, killed and raped sisters and mothers as well as all others from fathers to brothers through a hierarchy defined by colours. The true brutality that was served and dished out was too horrendous to be recorded or talked about. The lynchings and burnings were seen as a family outing, a community event, but the raping, sodomy and torture was how the slavers would silently vent. For implementing this brutality as a show of power, they believed it would make the enslaved forever cower. But to their horror, and ultimately their demise, the will for freedom would always uprise. Thank you. That's that one. That's Independence Day.